hello and welcome to this let's write video these are videos about computer programming in this video I'll be showing you tiny basic which I'll compile from the source code which is written in C and then I'll show you a few examples written in basic for the interpreter um, so here's the C source code which you can get from my website double click that and I'm opening it in dev C++ but you can use uh, MinGW for Windows if you want. Um, now this is the interpreter. I didn't write this uh, but um, it's based on the tiny basic from the 1970s which ran on microcomputers except uh, it's here it is running in Windows and um, this uh, you know it's 1456 lines long so we'll go ahead and compile it. That's done. And now there'll be a tiny basic.exe down here. If I just double click that, I can say uh twenty uh and so when I run it it'll just do that, so yeah. Now, uh, I'll show you something a bit more complicated here. It's an arithmetic question which I wrote. Uh, put that onto the tinybasic.exe. Now, tinybasic, it has limitations because it's a very small interpreter. Uh, the f one of the limitations is that you've got single letter, letter identifiers for variables, so that there can only be a, uh, 26 of them. Um, and uh, this it's an integer basic so there's no floating point numbers here at the top we've got uh, uh, arithmetic question of a tiny basic and there's my website that's just a remark so and there's a couple of messages and it goes through this stuff and gets a range for the random numbers that'll uh, mass questions will be based on um, and at uh, line 100 here, um, there's random of 16. Now, the the idea here is that if the, the reason it's 16 and not 4 is because with tiny basic, the random number generator uh, generates similar numbers in patterns. So uh, by getting it to go back for every uh, number out of the 16 and only getting one that's greater than or equal to 4 that makes it, it just produces a, a, a more random number so um, this stuff here uh, that this just chooses a, a uh, an operator um, See, 2 I think is multiplication, 3 is division, and less than 2 is, uh, I think 1 is uh, subtraction, and, and 0 is uh, addition. So, let's have a look here. Um, you can pause the video at any time if you want to study this in greater detail, but I didn't want to uh, make this too slow. And so that some people might get, you know, they otherwise some people might get bored. But um, uh, so it gives them feedback about their what they're doing with the maths there. And um, R, R is short for result. Remember, we've got to use single letter identifiers. I couldn't just put result equals. I had to put R. And uh, it just works out the, the um, correct answer there. And if they get it incorrect, then the result is displayed because that way they can learn from the program about you know what certain arithmetic uh, is uh, correct or incorrect. And there's subroutines for for generating questions. Uh, the first one is for add and subtract. The second one is for multiply, the third is for divide, 
and that's pretty much it so let's uh, run it arithmetic question I have no negative number to quit say greatest number to add or subtract let's say uh, 20 uh, 8 14 plus 16 should be 30 uh, let me just get a better view here um, divided by 2 is 7 that's 13 we'll get this one wrong uh, let's say it's 14 no it's 2 and uh, 29 get another one wrong uh, 4 it's uh, 48 so anyway negative number to quit and there it is it's gone so uh, and we're back at the the interface so we'll have a look at a different program here uh, guessing game this is shorter than the previous program at the top here we've got a remark second line it uh, puts the name of the program under the screen so that the user know what the program is used for uh, there's some instructions it wants a range for the for the uh, magic number to possibly be uh, obviously the bigger the range the more guesses it's going to take to determine which one it is um, and uh, there's uh, D e equals 3 um, yeah uh, M equals yeah it's just it just goes this is the randomization here so um, it, down here it's uh, there's a, a loop which goes to s from 70 um, 70 so it goes back up here and loops around that so it says enter your guess enter G for, G for guess and then the n equals n plus 1 so that's how many guesses they've used and if their guess is less than m which is the random number up here remember then it says uh, it is greater and conversely it says it is less here and then it goes back to 70 so but for, in order for the program to reach this down here they have to get the right number so at, at 130 it says you got it in whatever however many numbers it took for them to guess it tries and then there's end all tiny basic programs end in end by the way it's actually necessary uh, some uh, C++ compilers for example require you to put return 0 or return 1 at the end of the program depending on whether or not there was an error but let's go ahead and run this I will say 10 uh, 5 let's get a better view here um, 7 we've got it in 2 tries, we'll run it again just to see if it's random uh, 10 so is it 7 this time? No, it's greater. 9? It's going to be 8. So I got in 3 tries. Okay. Um, let's have a look at running average. This is an even shorter program, which is good for demonstration purposes because I can describe it more easily. Uh, at 10 there's the a remark which I just put at the beginning of most programs telling them what it is and what it's for and where to go if you need more of the same uh, some numbers are assigned a zero uh, then the title is printed on the screen and some instructions and uh, it gets uh, input there and by the way this uh, 60 it goes back and loops around to 60 in between 60 and 120 so um, it gets their input the count has one added to it 
uh, and the total is the total plus uh, the user number um, and then the the answer is the total divided by the count so that's how to work out an average and then the for every loop there's the a new answer printed onto the screen um, and if they enter a negative number uh, that is one that is less than zero then the program ends so let's run it um, 2013 this year uh, 2002 uh, 1995 okay so that's the 2003 is the average of those numbers I'll enter minus one here to stop um, so it also when you're writing a program there's this thing uh, that I've included here it's the manual for um, tiny basic um, and uh, it's uh, you know but it's, it's, it's quite short it's about 30 uh, lines long oh, uh, sorry pages long it's got a nice little index there I put it in HTML so that there was a uh, hyperlinks um, but uh, yeah that's pretty much it okay